There I am running with Abby, my eldest. Well, getting ready for an event like Run Disney can be faced with some bumps in the road, especially when it comes to cold season, right? There's always those small things that tend to kind of hold you back when you're trying to hit your fitness goals. A lot of people right now dealing with allergies and even those spring sniffle colds that are being passed around. But what do you do when you're sick? Do you still hit the gym? Well, I chatted with General Manager Joe Rose from the Thomas Racquet Club to get some answers. <coughs> it's that time of year. Colds are everywhere. You probably have one right now. Or you know somebody who does. And there are few things that are more annoying than a stuffy nose while trying to stick to your fitness goals. But can you work out with a cold? Fitness expert Joe Rose with Spare Time Fitness to Thomas Racket Club says, the first rule of thumb, don't work out when you are sick. It can seriously impact your health and unnecessarily expose others. Protocol for us has always been what's called a, a, a three to seven day uh, window. In other words, if I am symptomatic, for every day I'm symptomatic, I need to rest three to seven days before I return to my level of exercise and activity I was at before I got ill. Why do you need that much time? Because I think, I mean, from what I've heard as a, as a former, you know, athlete, that's that's a pretty good chunk of time because mm -hmm. a lot of coaches and people are like, no, you got to get right back into it. But where's the safety and where's the danger? It's the same system that we use to recover from exercise is the same system that we use to recover from illness. That's been taxed. Now I can't go. I've got to get back to what we call homostasis, which is healthy level. Then I can re, then I can resume my activity level. AKA, you need to fully recover to avoid relapse of your illness, which could lead to being out of your fitness practice for months opposed to just a few weeks and if you happen to feel something coming on but you're still able to hit the gym be courteous and protect others wash your hands or use hand sanitizer use a towel while working out to keep yourself clean wash your hands wipe down your equipment oh and did I mention wash your hands advice not only recommended by the medical community but your gym members and managers as well and don't be that person that comes in and you're on the treadmill and then you just hop off and go to the next thing wipe it down wipe it down <laughs> Thank it's you. gross when you don't <laughs> right you don't want somebody else's schmutz